Hello guys, uh, today we are going to install Kodi Krypton 17.0 on our uh, new Fire TV stick. I uh, will show you um, uh, step by step how to install Kodi Krypton 17.0. Uh, assuming that I, I assume that you just got your uh, Fire TV stick and uh, uh, you are doing it first time. So uh, there are a couple of things before you come to this screen. Uh, once you hook up your Fire TV stick to the uh, TV. Uh, you have to register your Fire TV stick to the Amazon account. So I have already done that one. That's why I am getting this screen. But let me show you where exactly you have to register it. Uh, so if you see here, uh, if I scroll down in the settings and when I go on the right, there is something called my account. Okay, I'm going to blurry out this particular screen just to hide my account um, uh, getting displayed uh, like this. Okay, but if I click on this one, it will show that Amazon account and uh, your hello or whatever the uh, your name is. So I've already registered this part. I've already registered my Fire TV stick with the Amazon account. Then again, let's go back and let me show you in the system. I've already registered. This is system, right? And in the system, I've already registered my network with this uh, 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 Fire TV stick. There are different ways of uh, uh, connecting this uh, Fire TV stick with to your uh, network but uh, it's pretty straightforward once this is done you have to go to the system and scroll down there is something called developer option I hope that uh, everything is visible here let me zoom in little bit okay and let me clear fine tune okay click on the developer option and you see that there are two options one is the uh, two developer options one is the adb debugging which is currently off and the second one is app from no unknown sources that is also off so what we are going what we have to do before installing the code is enable this um, option so i have enabled adb debugging and i have enabled the unknown sources so it will give you the warning uh, just ignore that warning and just say accept it ok so now in the developer option adb deg debugging and un apps from unknown sources is enabled now again go back using the back screen uh, back um, uh, back button of the remote and we are ready for installing the Kodi uh, now to install this Kodi we need the app which we have to download from the Kodi site so in old days um, you have to connect your uh, fire tv stick to the computer but in this uh, installation we are not going to use the computer if you see my other video i have used the computer i have connected the kodi fire tv stick to the computer installed the kodi and then again hooked up my um, fire tv stick to the tv here i am going to do everything on the um, uh, tv itself so for that we need some apps so already if you see here uh, in the fire tv stick there are um, how many apps are there right but what we need for installation of the Kodi something called es Ex file explorer this was not available earlier um, uh, on the amazon app store but now it is available so it is kind of easy so how to enable that app first on the uh, uh, my, your amazon store so go to the search and in the search type in e s space file file and again space explorer ex plo sorry explore 
explore and just click here and it will show the ES file explorer ES 180 million global downloads so you have to click on this one you see some options something first first button that says download so click on the download and it is downloading and now it is installing it takes a minute or so to install the uh, explorer once it is uh, explorer is ready uh, what we have to do is using the fire tv stick we will be going to the kodi uh, website to get the uh, kodi application and believe me it is very straightforward anyone um, who can operate the remote he can do all these things okay now you see that now click on the open and here is uh, the explorer okay since I'm doing it doing this first time I've, I've got all these options so this is the explorer it, it got downloaded I see that some of the menus are not visible okay now you see everything and it says that find a new version update now and I'm going to take this opportunity and just um, select the option to update it okay it is updating it is going to take some time to get this um, entire APK installed on the um, uh, Fire TV stick but as I mentioned earlier this is first time I am doing it so probably you will also face the same problem so do you want to install and update to this application your existing data will be will not be lost and what you can see that yes install and you can say install so it is installing the new update and this is the first part is done now you see that this is the explorer and it is similar to the our uh, windows explorer but it is um, uh, not not that difficult right once you once you know what exactly you are doing so uh, so we have done three things first thing is we have registered our fire tv stick with the amazon account using the amazon account second thing is we have enabled the wi-fi uh, and uh, now the fire tv stick in, is on the network okay so, so that is the second thing third thing what we have done is basically uh, we have installed the app ES Explorer to download the Kodi application from the um, uh, Kodi website and now we are going to get the um, Kodi application zip file from the Kodi app so what you have to do is you have to go to the favorite okay click on the favorite and you have to click on add okay and here you will be typing some path um, for the Kodi uh, application so let me zoom this in okay so there is a path and there is a name so let me first type the path and, uh, and to reduce the video time I'll just um, uh, come back after typing the uh, path name okay I've typed in entire path um, uh, in the uh, path field 
and the path is http colon slash slash archive dot org slash download slash kodi 17 underscore 2016 08 I'm going to hit the uh, next button and it will take me to the same screen from where we started and if you see here uh, it is showing that add to favorite that's this, that's this is the original screen what we had earlier and path and now what you have to do is you have to uh, come and enter the uh, name for this one uh, this is just like uh, adding the favorite to your internet explorer so I'm going to give some name to this one and since I know that this is the link for getting the Kodi 17.1 version I'm going to name this as Kodi underscore underscore k17 k for krypton and i'll add this one like this and then i go next and i go to uh, add and you see that it says bookma kodi k17 added successfully now once this is done if you come on the left side again uh, inside the favorite now you will see at the bottom Kodi K17 as uh, as a uh, favorite link so we are going to go ahead and click on this one and it will take to the website uh, of the Kodi and you see that there are different files are there so what we have to do here is we have to go to that one and come to the kodi 17.zip so click on this one and basically what it is going to uh, do is it is going to download kodi 17.zip it is going to take a minute or so depends on your uh, internet speed but uh, it is a very small uh, small file uh, like uh, 64 m uh, 64 mb file uh, not big so it, sh it is showing me that um, the total time it is going to take is like around one minute. So once this is finished, uh, I'll show you what exactly uh, you have to do. So it's still showing nine seconds. Here it is. And once it is downloaded, we are going to open the file. So you see there are two options, open folder and open file. So I'm going to select the open file. And once I select the open file, it will show the um, file in the uh, compression form in the file explorer. So now we have Kodi 2016, um, uh, 0802 and this APK. So we are going to click on this APK and it is going to install this one. So basically what is happening is currently it is actually installing the uh, Kodi app. And it says that do you want to install this application? It will get access to all that stuff. So I'm going to go and uh, click on the right button right side that is install and here you go so this is the actual part where we are installing the Kodi on the fire tv stick so again this this part will take some time and eventually it will show that app installed and you can uh, uh, open that app once installation is finished so let's give a minute okay so app is installed now I'm going to do at the bottom there is a 
button called open so I'm going to open and this is the first time preparing first run for the uh, Kodi Krypton 17 uh, please wait and you have successfully installed the uh, Kodi Krypton beta version on your Fire TV stick and you see that um, uh, it's uh, pretty much a very nice uh, GUI for this one the movies is there, TV shows, uh, music, add-ons, pictures, videos and additional thing it has uh, we have added here uh, Krypton added is basically the weather uh, but uh, to access all these movies and TV shows and photos, pictures or musics, everything you need the add-ons so this is the part now we are going to cover so there are different add-ons are required for Kodi and those my favorites are Fusion, Exodus, Entheism, um, uh, TED Talk, YouTube and all those things right so um, uh, basically I'm going to um, uh, install the uh, add-on uh, I'll, I'll show you how to install the add-on and then I'll show you how exactly you can watch the movie so uh, so far just to recap what we have done so far uh, we have we got the new fire tv stick we have registered that fire tv stick with the uh, amazon using the amazon account we have enabled the wi-fi and set up the wi-fi on our fire tv stick after that we have created the new favorite for uh, installation of the Kodi and once the Kodi installation is done um, uh, we are now launch the Kodi itself but we cannot use this Kodi unless and until the add-ons and uh, add-ons and the repository has been added so let's do that part now now I'm going to add on the uh, repository so for this add on the repository you have to go at the bottom and on the right side there is a folder so click on that folder and currently in the uh, root folder there is no source so we are going to click on add source once you click on this add source the screen will appear okay and in this you have to enter the address um, fusion is my favorite uh, to get the uh, different add-ons so I'm going to put HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot tv add ons it is ons not just on okay so tv add-ons dot ag and don't forget to put the forward slash at the end okay in many videos you will not find this one and it will it will not work okay so say hit the done button and then you have to give some name to this one since it's a repository from fusion I'm going to call it as fusion only you can name it anything whatever you want to say repository 1 repository 2 or so on but I'm going calling it fusion and I'm going to hit done and say ok so now you see one source has been added to the file manager now hit the back button go back okay and then come on the add-ons and you see at the bottom there is this small icon first one the folder icon click on that one and on the right side 
click on install from say repository or install from zip file whatever you want to okay and as soon as you say I've clicked on the install from zip file okay and as soon as you say it shows that for security installations of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled so we have to enable that one so go to settings and see unknown sources is currently disabled uh, let me show you this one yep so unknown sources is disabled I'm going to enable that one and press the hit key yes now it is unknown sources is enabled go back again and click on install from zip file click on this second one that is fusion okay and it says it has three options start here XMBS repository and XMBF script if you want to go directly to the uh, add-ons you can uh, do it from the XMBS uh, repository but I usually install the config one so go to the start here and at the last one is basically the plugin the video hub wizard so click on that one and it is going to get installed in few seconds and the config wizard is now available so we have installed the config wizard and uh, now we are one step closer to enabling the add-ons from the repository now after this config wizard has been installed now go back and go to the program add-ons click on this program add-ons and you'll see two options Android apps and program add-ons select the program add-ons and you'll see the config wizard there click on it and now you'll see different options that is warning Mac Windows Android iOS and so on so we are interested in Android so click on Android and it says that would you like TV add-ons dot ag to customize your add-on on selection say yes and it is now going to get all the repositories and add-ons so when when you install these add-ons basically uh, uh, what is happening is that uh, uh, the repository is getting to your system and when this repository comes it has built-in add-ons but uh, they are not by default in the enable state so whatever the add-ons you are interested in we have to enable them one at a time so this is going to take some time like maybe uh, one or two minutes so now you see that again it is it depends on the uh, speed of your network but um, um, uh, once it is installed uh, once it is downloaded it is going to get extract then installation and then uh, we are almost done so once this step is done uh, we'll power uh, switch off the uh, Kodi basically um, uh, shut down the Kodi and restart the Kodi it's just like installing any application on uh, Windows machine so let's give another 30-40 seconds uh, for this extraction and installation so extraction is going on it's pretty fast um, even though I said 30-40 seconds it is going to finish in another 10-15 seconds so now here installation complete see it's it's done so just hit OK and go back and you see at the bottom there is the power icon so click on this one and just say exit and once you do this one it will take you back to the uh, ES Explorer okay so we are not interested in the ES Explorer go back hit the uh, home key of your uh, remote and that will take you to the 
Amazon Fire uh, TV Stick, right? So now go to the apps. This is the Amazon Fire home screen. Go to the apps. Go to the Kodi and launch the Kodi now. Okay, so now we have Kodi and still we don't have any add-ons enabled, right? So now what we are going to do is we are going to enable the add-ons what we have installed or downloaded using the config wizard. Now on the front screen, um, we have these add-ons and you don't see any add-on here. At the top right corner, you see two icons, add-on browser and the settings. So click on add-on browser. Once you click on add-on browsers, you'll see this menu and there is uh, my add-ons, available updates and so on. So either you could directly as I mentioned earlier also you can install these add-ons from the zip file or use via the config um, uh, setup right the one which we have done so click on my add-ons and there are different categorizations of all these add-ons like the audio encoder, uh, encoders, game add-ons okay music add-ons and so on I am more interested in the uh, video, uh, video add-ons so let's click on the video add-ons and here you go there are many add-ons the famous one is the exodus so let's click on that exodus add-on and enable it so it is getting enabled right so now let's go back and uh, uh, click on some other add-ons right so navy x is also my favorite so I enable that one too okay then I'm going to enable the one more add-on that is Phoenix this one is also good enable and you just go through salt is also there uh, sorry uh, stream of all the sources that is salts this is also good all these add-ons are good for the uh, movies I'm going to enable this one too what happened okay for some reason it was uh, some updates are running so it was kind of sluggish so I've added that salt also and then go on right so YouTube is already enabled Zem TV and so on so now let's go back so few of the add-ons we have already enabled so let's go back and here you go so you see the Exodex, Phonix, Salts, YouTube all these video add-ons I'm going to click on the Exodex and it is going to show me uh, let's let's assume that I want to watch the movie or search for the movie so click on these movies and go to say year and say 2014 I'm just selecting anything okay randomly just to show you guys that um, uh, how to select the movies and it will list out all the movies and first time it is always takes time because it has to get all the information from the net and show it on the screen so yeah so interstellar is there gone girl Vispas, and also so let's select one just for demo purpose interstellar it is 2 hours 49 minutes movie and now the exodus is going all over the uh, internet to get the links where it is available uh, it takes another 5-10 five, 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 seconds to get all those links it will show whether it is HD quality or 1080 or it is a um, low resolution quality and whichever you think quality interested in you can select that one so let's give to another 20 30 seconds and I'm going to get the list of all the sources which are available and see it's an old movie so 2014 movie so all the sources are 1080 so I'm going to just select one of them say first one 
and movie is going to run and this is the first screen of the movie so we are done with uh, installing the add-ons and everything uh, and this similar way you can um, add the repositories and select the uh, enable the add-ons thanks for watching and uh, feel free to uh, post me any questions which you have or experience any issues and I will try to answer those questions.